Hi, I'm Kurt Weil, and this is me dissecting Bass Ackwards. Then everything went backwards with words coming at Bass Ackwards. To be honest, when I wrote Bass Ackwards, I was down the shore and I was coming out of it, but I was definitely having some sort of meltdown. Drinking lots of uh, alcohol to like calm me down. Not necessarily an ideal way you want to always calm yourself down. So, this, so the song is really like sort of coming out of, of, of a place of, uh, you know, some kind of anxiety pushing down on your, on your brains or whatever. We started just on a drum machine that Sean Everett, who re, uh, recorded this song and, and mixed it and everything, he just hammered out this simple beat on his phone. We had uh, this girl, Barbara Gruska, and she's an incredible Drummer. She probably did the ultimate compliment to this song when she listened back. She was like, oh, that's transportive. If it took you somewhere, if it took you, took you to outer space and back or something, that's, that's a good thing. We pushed up the two acoustic guitars and made sure they were definitely running the show. That, that's the roots. That's the foundation. There's all, all the grooves in the car, guitar, you know, and the hypnosis is in the acoustic guitar. There's a backwards guitar. Every time I said bass backwards, I wanted to just have a loop pedal play in reverse, like the Beatles and other people done before me. But, uh... <laughs> The harp, my friend Mary Lattimore, I've been, she's just got this way with melody. It sounds like a little piano in the background. It's not too loud in the mix. It's subliminal melody. Like the world's at, at a boiling point. Now with computers, everybody sees everything that's going on. Like It's like a massive static. Well, moving forward, they're going backwards. Let's go outside, Just walk through the woods, get out, get out of your chair.